Good day, girls. In this video, I will show you the expected question that you should be expecting in your chemistry practical for the WAHEC this year. That is WAHEC chemistry practical. If you are sitting for it this year, uh, you expected the question that you should be expecting. And I have 80% assurance that that's how you need it. Because I've been doing it for a long uh, time, for almost 15 years, and it has always happened like that. So, your chemistry practical will be over. You have three questions to answer under chemistry practical. The first question will be under volumetric analysis. The second question will be under qualitative. Sometimes we call it uh, short analysis. And the third question will be under general uh, question. Okay? Now, the second question, which is short analysis, uh, is what I will make this video about. Uh, uh, on the first question, I will, I will make another video on that, and that's why I will advise you to subscribe to this channel and like this video, share to your friends so that you will be of help to them. Okay, now let me talk about the question number two. What are you to expect in the question number two? So I will show you what to expect and everything that you need to know. So let's go there now. In your sort analysis, you will be provided with a sort C, a sort C. Aha, uh -huh. you'll be expected to add water, that is C plus H2O. When you add water, what you're expected to have is this. Now, C dissolved completely to give a light blue solution. That is, it dissolves completely. You let us know it dissolves completely to give a light blue solution. So what are we expecting to have in the inference, okay? Now, to infer now, C is a mixture. Because they will have told you now. C is a what? C is a mixture of soluble salts. It's a mixture of soluble salts. Now, you, be, you, you might be required to test with litmus paper. So you use both red, use both blue and, uh, red and blue litmus paper. So if you are using that, what are you expecting? It turns blue litmus paper red. So when it turns blue litmus paper red, what does it mean? Solution C is acidic. That's the meaning. It's acidic. Now, the next thing now. C aqueous plus barium chloride. You are expected to have a white precipitate is formed. White precipitate is formed. And after that, now when you have white precipitate, you are inferring CO3 2 minus, SO3 2 minus, and SO4 2 minus are those ones that are present. Some people will write suspected. Okay. Going further more, plus dilute HCl. When you have HCl, you are expecting your precipitate to be insoluble. So precipitate insoluble. Precipitate insoluble. In what? In HCl. Now, SO4 2 minus confirmed. That's a confirmatory test over there. Or, instead of adding barium chloride first, before adding this, okay, you might see a question that will say you should add HCl first before barium chloride. If you have HCl, now, you have to get no feasible reaction. Don't write no reaction, please. There is always a reaction. But no feasible reaction. Nothing to be written here as the inference. Okay. So when we come here, we have plus barium chloride. At that time, you now have your white precipitate formed. When the white precipitate is formed, you have our SO42 minus now present. We cannot put confirm because we did not uh, suspect up here. Alright. So let's go to the next one over there. So we have our C aqueous. Our solution C, please. You can see I'm putting a chaos there. Once it has been dissolved in water, it becomes a solution. Either C, a chaos or solution C. If you write just C plus barium chloride, because they might tell you to put it in different portion. Just let us know. Solution C, please. Don't write C. That's the test of solid. Okay? Solution C. And when you have that, what are we expecting to get over there? Now, what we are expecting to get, look at this now. C aqueous here plus sodium hydroxide okay in drops when you have in drops you have blue gelatinous 
precipitate formed in drops blue gelatinous precipitate form in drops and the what are we inferring cu2 plus present okay now then then in excess when you now have in excess precipitate remains insoluble in excess now when precipitate is insoluble we have cu2 plus present okay now ca cures again plus aqueous ammonia in drops you're having the same blue gelatinous precipitate don't forget the gelatinous please blue gelatinous precipitate formed in drops you come here you have cu2 plus present again now then in excess of this aqueous ammonia now precipitate dissolves very important to form a deep blue solution deep blue deep blue very important now cu2 plus confirmed now any of the two solution here this and this any of them they might tell you to leave it for five or ten minutes or that you should eat it up any of the two if you leave it now this copper two will be turned to copper one so it means we are going to see red precipitate is formed now going to say reducing agent present okay copper two reduced to copper one that's why you see the red over there now another portion that is ca chaos plus fairly solution a and b you now heat it as well so we are expected to have brick red precipitate formed okay and what does that mean reducing sugar present this is all as i've said subscribe to this channel to have more of this after the subscription you have more of this and uh, i will also produce a video to help you for the volumetric analysis and every other thing even your NECO exam thank you and god bless